So I was going to do a silent gameplay of scavenging, um, but I might just record the audio, you know, just in case I have anything that I do want to say in there. Aside from that, I usually will just pretty much kind of be quiet here. All I'm doing is scavenging a few cities, looking for some items here. I'm also looking for, mainly I'm looking for gas and I'm looking for mystery coupons. I'll probably be disassembling a lot of vehicles because I like to get those skill points, plus I need the gas. Oops, didn't mean to do that. Good thing I had that alarm clock. Let's look at a few of these intact houses, see if there's anything there of, of big interest to me. And there's really not. There, we'll do our double tap thing now. I should make that a habit. That was a very good tip for me to have. I'll start to have to incorporate that and make that a habit of this game. Now I'm going to drop these. I just think exhaustion minus 15 is really not a big deal. This one here, exhaustion minus 25, but the effects are accelerated regeneration. I might keep that one. Fatigue minus 50. I guess I could take one of those. I don't really take too, too many drugs here. Fatigue minus 150. That one though I'll definitely keep. Um, for times that I'm extremely tired, don't want to pass out, once you get past fatigue 200, you can pretty much pass out. Drop some more of my rags because I really don't need that many of them. And then let's look at our wear and tear of our motorcycle. So the motorcycle wear and tear is at 68%. Definitely going to be repairing that. Okay, so now the bike level wear and tear is only at 8%. These are still at 4%. That's pretty good. Backpack, I have two. Wear and tear is only 16%. And the bike. Now another thing too is with the bike, let's say with my base here. If I'm at my base and all I'm going to be doing is scavenging cities nearby, I can just use my bike to scavenge these other cities and not have to waste any gas. Now the reason I am wasting gas is because I'm pretty much traveling a bit farther. Also I'm collecting gas on the way. And then double click the items I want to move into my inventory. Mark that guy with the X. Check out this intact house. No mystery coupon. Nothing else there really catches my eye. We'll head down here to the warehouse. Nothing there for me either.
Since I only had one tire left, I'm gonna probably pick the, these up as well. My levels are extremely horrible right now. And municipal pill building here doesn't really hold too, too much. Sometimes you can find a bottle of vodka there. And the tea bag catch my eye, maybe the canned pork as well. So let's just pick those up anyway while we're here. The wear and tear here is 83%, so I'll be left with two axes soon. Just rest again till my levels are getting better. And all my levels are perfect, so I'm going to save. That's definitely an awesome time to save. So now we're going to Yurt Sevel, Yurt Sevel. And I'm just going to take a quick look at these intact houses here. Just to see if there's anything of interest for me, mainly a mystery coupon. Just looking to see how many motorcycle parts we have, and we actually have 30. That's a shitload of motorcycle parts. And again, you can also just drain the fuel. It definitely is a faster option, but you don't get those points.
honestly, I just made food there and then I went to sleep. You want to make the most out of your food, then don't make it and go to sleep. That was kind of a dumb thing, but you know, I got enough food anyway, it's all right. So we've pretty much scavenged those cities now. And my gas bar is at 23.78. I might just pop over here to this town, see what they can offer me for gas. Just gonna wait till that goes down to zero here. There. So now we're at Vaziga. Vaziga will scavenge and see what they can offer us for gas. I'm not going to worry too, too much about food right now. Pretty much what I'm looking for right now is gas or any sort of mystery coupon. Oops, sorry, cut out there, but I'm back and here we are. So all I'm doing now is just pretty much looking for gas and mystery coupons. We'll hit this intact house. And there are a few things there. I like the dried fish. The dried fish now has no expiry date. And I like the canned porridge. Now the thing is I do like the canned food, but once you start to collect too many, too much of it, sorry, I gotta get used to that double click thing. Once you collect too many of them, you're, you're weighing yourself down pretty much. Dark holes there, I always assume are toxic water and I have yet to be proven wrong on that one. This one here has dirty water. I have tons of dirty water, but I always will mark it. And let's see if either of these buildings hold anything for us. Nope. Nope. I'm going to get right out of this town, get my levels back up. And I think I'm just going to start making my way down here to Vologda. Now to get there, I actually have to go through this town anyway, otherwise there's tons of water around it. So we'll just scavenge Karavosk. See if there's anything here of interest for us. So now we're at mechanics level seven. We've unlocked the heavy crossbow, iron bolt, VAZ 2101. Yes, I said Z. And I said Z because I'm in Canada. And that's just what we say.
So you see my levels are extremely high right now. So I'm going to just hang out here for a minute, eat some food. Maybe I'll rest for a quick minute here. Now I'm choosing the faster option, just draining fuel. I'll stir a couple of them, and that way I'll know, okay, well I definitely know I got the fuel from all of them. This one I'll do, I like the matches, the honey, definitely the tea bags as well. Look, I'm getting used to that double tap option now. I'm going to keep making my way here. I'm going to set out a camp right outside of the town here. Dark clouds are coming, it's getting cold. I have to look for shelter and a source of heat. Well, that's a good thing then, that we just did that. So I'm gonna star this with our star. Boil those up. I wanna get rid of some of these because each one weighs a kilogram. So I'm gonna star them, I'm gonna duck Restar that just so they show up back at the front. And if I have dried fish, 40 of them, I'm gonna start that as well because I kind of want to get rid of those now. And I'm gonna make up my caffeine products. For... A raging blizzard hits me. I feel as if million spikes are being thrown at my body. My face, my eyes, I can't see anything in this snowstorm. I have to look for shelter and a source of heat. Now I'm wondering if it wants me to go to a building to lower my death level there. Probably by the time I finish searching here and breaking down the furniture to make the heat, it will prob probably be over. Yep, so now my levels are coming down. So it wants you to find some sort of an, a home, intact house, break down that furniture and make that fire. Now I never advise sleeping in a town as your radiation levels will go up, but in this case, it wanted us to. The blizzard has stopped. I can continue my journey now. Now I did have a hut, but obviously the hut already isn't much protection. So I'm actually going to head back there. I'm gonna have a rest, get all of my levels back in order.
and then I'm going to save my game and we will start off at the next one.